I feel like, you know, coming into Baylor, you know, Baylor was always my dream school growing up. You know, you come into college expecting, like, you be the best player at your high school, so you expect to play. And so, you know, coming in, I had to understand, like, right off back, I was like, all right, you know, I want to play, I want to do this. Like, I was the best player at high school. Like, I know I can go. But then I had to realize it was people that were older than me that had been in the system longer, and they knew what coach wanted. So it was about learning coach and like knowing that she trusts you when she puts you in the game. Like that's the biggest thing I had to realize in college is that they play you based off of trust and experience sometimes. You know, you gotta build that trust in practice and then in that like minute or two that you get. So you know. About to say that'd be embarrassing if you can't get in. <laughs> yeah, they finally changed it. That's all our trophies. Yeah, this so this is this is where we come through all the time. We come through here and stuff, and then you gotta like check in on game day. There's somebody sitting right here. Hello. Y'all shooting? Am I interrupting y'all? Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, this is the gym. How's it going? You can grab something to drink over there. That's our drink station, you know. That's the strength and conditioning coach's office and our nutritionist office. Med balls, sled pushes, them things. The weight scale. That's all the weight room. And then, like, if we get food or something, they can put it in here to keep it hot. Another, this is our fueling station. Got like different snacks and stuff in there. Yeah. This is treadmills and bikes and ellipticals. Mm hmm. The ellipticals and when people get hurt. That, that, I did that before. Yeah, I'm done. With, yeah, I'm done with the shark. I'm done with the shark pit. Basically, uh, so when I had hurt my shoulder, I couldn't lift. So they hook it around your waist, and everything's just on your legs. And so, like, it's a bunch of weight. And you got to drop it and pick it up. I was like, oh, nah. And so that's I wonder do they had a main gym open. That's where, like, our visitors' teams, when they come, visitors go in there. Volleyball's on that side. There's volleyball side over there through them other double doors. They got it down? Oh. Well, normally it'd be basketball goes in there. Normally it'd be basketball goes, but we just had graduations in here, so they picking that up. Now this is, uh, this is our locker room. See, they got all the national championships up there. Let's turn the lights on. So you got, you walk in, you got the lounging area, got pictures, then they put those up there for the three national championships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got uh, another fueling station for us where we could just come in here, we're in here. Got that. Got some stuff in the refrigerator. That's that. This is our locker room. This is this is my locker. We're not gonna open it right now because I don't know what's in there. But this is my locker. Oh, they took our people down. This is our mirror. Let me see if I can get the lights on for this. Cause this is pretty cool. So then there's this. Yeah. So all of this. If eventually, oh, I think they got it flickering. But basically, you see the the championship game balls and Big 12 conference balls, and they got all of that lit up. National championships. They even got it on the mat, the, 20, the 2005 to 2012, 2019. Here go our wall. I know. You want to see that? Let me show you. Let me show you the wall. That's crazy. Two, two of y'all teammates are on the same team in the league. Yeah, it was supposed to, it was about to be three. It was about to be three. 
Who else? Uh, Jordan. Because she was still left, too. About to be three. So this is where we come in. We do film and stuff in here. And then this is even cool, too. You see how they got the uh, championships and all of that on the wall from the Big 12. So when everybody wonder where we go at halftime, this is where we come and sit and talk. Other than that, this is the arena. Wait till the, the new one? New one, nice. What you mean? The, we built a new arena. A whole new one? Mm -hmm. That's just going to be strictly for uh, men's and women's basketball. They're going to get us into like volleyball and uh, acro and tumbling. Yeah, it's, it's going to be crazy. Thank you. Oh, they got a little oh, some yeah. We got the nice one. Yeah. So just bring, you can keep it all summer, but bring when we come back to work, I'll see Do I need shoes? Right now? Yeah. No, you're all right. Oh. All right, you haven't done these. We're just gonna basically we're gonna do quarter squat calf raises. I don't want you jumping right now. Okay. Set up like a back squat. You're gonna quarter squat down, accelerate through, reset. Okay. Squat down. So it was a hard experience coming into college not playing because you know I was so used to being a top player on my team or starting or playing. You know it was a different. It was so different for me. But then, you know, I kind of took it as like a humbling moment and a wake up call. Because I could have used it and been like, you know, I'm done. I could have went into a shell. But it was one of those moments where I was like, all right, how can I get better? How can I be a better me? Because it's not the coach. It's about what you're doing behind closed doors when you're not at practice. What can you do to get yourself on the floor? So I just took advantage of that coming back from my shoulder surgery. And I was just ready to play. Like, I was going to go hard no matter what, every drill, because I wanted to be on the court. The harder one, the I'm going to say I'm a beginner. Because <laughs> no, I'm going to get hot. It's, all it is, one's just a little bit. I mean, it's going to be almost the same routine. One's just going to be like longer, harder, hotter, probably. Hot is where I need to start. Yeah. Yeah. There's right quick. I think all the coaches might be up here. Because I don't have to be at the thing till like 11.30. What up, what up? What up, what up? So we lift weights like uh, so off season. We'll do like an hour of weights and then an hour of basketball like almost every day. And it's not always lifting. It could be stretching, yoga, different things. Like we might play games like uh, kickball or something. So it's different. Just to kind of get us used to being on campus and stuff. And then like get us used to what we'll do in season to try new things. Hello. That's my. That's my father. Okay, that's my old campus is. father. That's right. Theo. That's Coach Tony. Everything's good. That's Micah. Micah, this is Theo. Oh, hi. So good, good to see you. you. Good to see you. I soon. missed you. Can you take you your too. poster with you? Oh, yeah, I'll take that today sometime. Okay. This is Coach Tari. This is Theo. I had those on the other day. Did you? How's it going, bud? It's going good. Good, how are you? Good. That's Sophia. I just saw you downstairs. Hello. How's it going? Good. Hello. That's Carolina. That's Theo. It's not new. <laughs> and then we got Head Huncho. Head Huncho. I'm in. Head Huncho. Is that Scout? Come on, come see Scout. That's Theo. That's hey. Coach. Well, Scout is a Scout. Hey. Come out so everybody can see you. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, so everybody can see you. It's okay. It's okay. She told you, you told him he couldn't yeah. leave. Oh, Scout, look, look. Go get your tree. Come on. Go get your tree. Look. Come on. <laughs> Scout. <laughs> All right, that's, that's, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> I got a picture from y'all the other day. I'm about to go to Molly. All right, Scout, you can go back in incognito and hide. When y'all go recruiting again? This weekend. So where are you gonna be? Queen of the South. Okay. I'm gonna be there, I think. You up here later, I'm gonna bring my friend up Why here. I'm bring, her, I'm bring my friend up here. I'll bring her later. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's up here later. Girl, leave me alone. We about I gotta go see what Coach Tony Red is because he didn't call me and tell me about his sympathy letter, nothing back. I said, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so sweet. So don't get on my bad side. So did you? I don't, even, What's up? I don't even see yours. You don't see? Yes, I got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I yeah. got it. Yes, I got it yesterday. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. No, I got it yesterday. You took up my whole deal. You know? Yeah. And I stopped because I was running out of space. <laughs> That's, those are cute. Can you get that big head in the in the in the? Oh. My head ain't even that big no more. It's went down. Nope. Let me see. Well, you got two rings now. Yeah. Oh, uh, eight. You want eight? Eight. Yep. Well, remember, you're going to have different uh, hands. Or different, different fingers. Probably your rings. Yeah. You want eight? Yep, uh, eight. Perfect. What are you guys doing? Uh, day in the life. Just day in the life to say? Yeah, you know. You want to show me your candy? Mm -hmm. Not yet. I just showed the candy. Okay. Is your letter? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> that was real sentimental of me. Yes, appreciate it. Yeah. Well, guess I got my stuff. I'm gone. All right. Be back later. Bye. Look at you. Look at you acting up. Just tell you. I heard you got me a visit next week. Visit <laughs> me. Oh, so y'all not y'all telling on each other? It oh, wasn't please. me. Please, please, y'all tell it's not me. They told me. At first Dang, it was. some big bottles on my end. Dang. Big. They told me it was you, huh? At first it was, but now it's not. I'm just trying to get like y'all. This thing, let me get this. It's up to you. <laughs> this is over here. Yeah, now it's on Coach Tony. Is it the girl you had? No. Who is it? Uh, this is a new kid. Oh. So I can't say. Okay, I'm gonna call you. <laughs> Can you text me the name? Thank you, Jeremy. They call like bubble shoes. Thank you. Um, I'll say you're good to go for tomorrow. Okay. Or you can be there like 1145 right after class. The same spot? From the same spot? Uh, yeah, it's at the yoga. yoga? Yeah, so where is it at? Let me see if I can find it. Where Sophia is. I think she's actually in that picture. I'm trying to find her, find her. Where's she at? That's her right here. That's Sophia right there. Um, if I had to give myself one advice, like being a junior at high school, don't make excuses. Uh, you know, when you come in and everybody wants to blame it on the coach, whether that's your parent or whether that's you or whoever, everybody wants to make excuse. When you're the one doing the work, you know, mom and daddy's not here with you at school, so you can call them and, and tell them like, hey, coach is doing something to me, but I would tell myself as a junior, you know, don't make excuses and go out each and every day and work hard because there is somebody that's in the gym trying to get better when you're at home laying down. And every day, is our family away from home. So now we're about to head to um, what they call, they call it tutoring, but it's a learning specialist. So like, my learning specialist helps me um, build better skills like in college. It's something that you have as a freshman and uh, sophomore. She help you build better skills of like studying, being organized, uh, strategic work, basically just helping you like get used to being in college. So you ain't just thrown in the fire. And everybody has it their freshman and sophomore year. So I'll kind of get away from it going into um, my junior year. That's where uh, all the student athletes go to eat. You got like a meal plan there, you can go in there and eat. In this building right here, that's hires where we go in and do our tutoring. That's uh, for student athletes only. You go in here, you got tutoring, which is they have uh, the weight room for football in here. Dude, but I'm not gonna lie, like we get a lot of love up here for women's basketball. Don't ever go out nowhere looking crazy. Cause if they spot you, they will ask for a picture. They'll tell coach they saw you. They do not care. So I'd advise not to go anywhere looking crazy. But this is where we come and do all our studying, anybody's here. Okay, let's do, let's do this so we can go through the other way. I got something for you. And we can see the other fueling station. We can go up that way. What is that? That's why I was like, instead of going in that way, we're going through the other way, that way well, you can see it. That is really bigger than what everybody think it is. Honestly, like, that's just one side of the campus that you saw. Classes go back like farther than that. And so I'd be like, yeah, they look, but it's all one big circle. I used to get lost like my freshman year, but you know, you know how that goes. 
Yeah, one day I asked one of the teachers, I was like, am I in the, I asked one of the friends, I'm like, am I, in the, am I in the right building? She like, no. She sent me like another 10 minute walk across campus. Turns out I was in the right building the whole time. So I had to walk back to that building. I think my academic advisor actually came and got me. Cause I was like, I'm not walking back, I can't. So if you go through here, told you we got fueling stations everywhere. So this is another fueling station that we just come in and just grab something. So you got, you can't ever say like, I can't get a snack before class because you got all types of spots. You got this, that's the football locker room from when they're here, but you got this. This is a training room where we come into like the doctor. Hey Jeremy, how are you? Good. So this is in the training room. Like, uh, you get hurt sometimes, you come here and see the head athletic trainer and you'll do like rehab. So I've been here for my shoulder. You got different like little equipment in here. That's, I don't know what that is, I don't go back there. So here is um, our nutritionist, like our head nutritionist, our office is back there. But like we come here, you can do like different tests and all of that. And then I don't know, we, we can peek our head in here. This is um, this is our room. So like that thing right there is called a DEXA scan. It'll give you exactly how much body fat you got on you, how much muscle, how much weight you don't lost. It'll tell you like exact numbers, all of that. And they just scan your body. That's crazy. Yeah. So like we do that at the beginning of the season. Yeah, like. Le legit, it tells you like you have this much muscle, this much fat, you've lost this and that. Football trains in here a lot. Well, this is football. So this is just, this is football's weight room and all of that. You, this is all football's. So we don't come down here. We might just come in here to grab a snack, that's it. But Or we come in here to nutritionist or a DEXA scan. But we get a DEXA scan. I think we got them three times this year. You'll get one at the very beginning of the season, middle of the season, and then at the end of the season. My numbers are crazy. Like, you know, just looking at the transformation from your freshman to what's going into my junior year, my numbers are crazy. They were good crazy though, good crazy. So this is like a little, you know, show and tell for football. Got some, some nice things going on in here. I think a lot of people know Mr. RG3, that's him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Walk everywhere, you had like a hoverboard or anything like that? So it depends. So like I normally have, I meet with my learning specialist at eight o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I walk straight across the street to camp, I mean to campus for class. Oh, okay. Cause parking is crazy. So a lot of times I walk. Only time I drive is if I'm done with class and I'm going to the gym. Coming down this way, this is where uh, football had their meetings. That's like the football coach's office. And they got like a, uh, What's that? The different things like the raw receivers meet in here, online meet down there. They got different things. This is Molly. This is <laughs> this is this is Theo. This is Molly. Hi. But this is my learning specialist, Molly. That gets me right. She's the reason why I have my best GPA this semester. Because of this lady right here. Should I put him right here so he can edit, or can he go in one of the tutoring rooms? Come in here, or like our tutor will be in here waiting on us or whatever, so we go in there for tutoring. And then that's like, uh, if you need a computer, you can go in there and then your academic work on the computers in there. And then it's just more tutoring rooms. This is for athletes? Athletes only. Strictly, so it says it right there, student athlete. Center of Excellence, strictly for athletes, that's it. 
And then like that's literally you come out and you can go straight over there and get you something to eat. Yeah. So like that's why they always say we don't have no excuse of why we hungry. Because we literally can walk out and there's fueling stations all over the place. And I don't know like how everybody else got it, but we got like this thing called beer fuel. Let me see if I can pull it up. The whole thing. So I see like we get $9. And then this, let me see if it pull up. Different restaurants that you can spend this $9 at to get you like a meal. Yes. Don't stop at any of the million food stops already in every building. Yeah, so like they serve you breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they got a thing, like on the thing I just showed you, you can go on there and you can pre-order it so you can pick it up in the morning. Like if you need breakfast, you can pre-order it and come pick it up. So it's pretty cool. You ain't got no reason to be hungry. It's getting, they're putting more stuff actually out here. Like they just built that um, top golf and main event and stuff. They're expanding. Like it's a lot to do once you like really get down here and you get out to explore. It's a lot more to do than what you really thought. Uh, my relationship with Earl, Earl has been my trainer since day one. You know, walking into the gym, you know, he wasn't even supposed to train me. He was actually supposed to train my brother. And he would just ask my dad, like, can she keep up? My dad was like, yeah, she can keep up. So, you know, my relationship with Earl is like that love, hate, big brother type relationship. I can call him about anything, go to him about anything. But most of all, he's going to challenge me on the court and off the court. And I think, you know, that's a relationship not, not everybody can have a real relationship with uh, their trainer or somebody that's like a brother to them because he's always going to give me the raw, uncut truth. Like, he'd be like, you had a good game, but this is what you could have done better. And I'm like, but Earl, I had a good game. He's like, but you still got more left in the tank. Like, that's not good enough. So I think, like, our relationship is just amazing. Straight up. Straight. I wasn't afraid to make a mistake because I know like the way they believed in me, like I made a mistake and I kept moving on. So I think you saw the growth in my game and my confidence was just, it was like, I wouldn't say it was at its highest, but it was just higher than it was last year. And I think, you know, over the course of time, these next few years of college, my confidence will just keep going up and up and like I just keep getting better. So like the support I got around me from my mom, my brother, my dad to my coaching staff at Baylor to my trainer Earl, you know, I just got so many people that want to see me be great that they challenge me in ways that I would have never thought I challenged myself. Like at the games, I'm hearing from my dad and my and Earl, like, you know, you know, I might think I had a good game, but they tell me what I could have done better. But in my eyes, I'm looking at it like, dang, why they say so hard on me? But it's because they know I got more in the tank. So I say like, I have a tremendous support system at home in Dallas and then at Baylor, my coaches that, you know, they challenge me in ways too that I never thought I had in me. It's like everybody's challenging me to be better than what I am now because they know it's in my bag. So I think my support system is just amazing. Next season, you know, I'm looking to be better than what I was last season. Like, everybody was like, oh, yeah, like, you had a good season. But I'm like, yeah, I got more. So I'm looking to really, like, really, really put my name out there next year and be like, when they talk about Baylor, they talk about Sarah Andrews, too. Like, I'm a big, huge factor in it, too. Like, I want to play a huge role in why we win, whether that's assisting, playing defense. Like, I just want to play such a huge role and contribute on both ends of the floor, whether that's defense and offense. I'm bad to work.